Oh, it's been proven. Men sleep better next to a woman and women sleep worse next to men. <laughs> And there's a lot of reasons for this. I mean, obviously, if it's with a hookup, of course, a woman is probably not going to sleep as well because she's like, I hope he doesn't unalive me while I'm sleeping. But this is this. I, I looked it up. Watch. But this is something in mar with married couples. You know, with married couples, the third, like the number three cause of divorce is snoring. And it's always the dude because I swear to God, every man has sleep apnea. <laughs> I think infidelity, infidelity and money are the, the first two causes and snoring is the other. Now, why is that? Is, are women just being petty? No, it's because when a woman can't sleep, it takes years off of our lives. And you know, it's funny, the New York Times did this thing recently. Why do women have more sleep issues than men? And they, in this article, she talks a lot about hormones and just all kinds of stuff, right? But I would argue that one of the main reasons is because the, the man next to us, if we're you know married to a man, affects our sleep. The snoring, the farting, the, you know, in my comments on this video that this one, somebody said that a man like wakes up in the, her ex-husband or something used to wake up and hit himself in the middle of the, of the night. Now, a lot of women, myself included, have a lot of trauma around sleep. Pretty much all of my trauma from men, my schmegual trauma from men happened while I was asleep or in a sleeping situation. And so because of that, of course, I'm gonna be more sensitive to the man sleeping next to me. But all women who deal with men are gonna be sensitive to men's energy when we're asleep because we are unconscious. We are at our most vulnerable. I mean, think about it. When, I mean, when you see any, any adult sleeping, they look like children, right? They look so innocent and vulnerable because they are completely, like all their guard is down. And so when you're married to somebody or dating them and you're sharing a bed with them, any, any issues that you already have in the marriage, like imagine that when you're unguarded. I would be willing to bet almost every woman has had a man try something while she was asleep. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But even women who are not super reckless, <laughs> like I wasn't sleeping like in her car and in, you know, sleeping bags in the middle of nowhere and, you know, couch surfed all over. Any woman who has dated a man has probably had him try to do something to her while she was asleep. We just don't talk about it. And especially if that woman is dating or married to a man, we still don't really recognize that as assault. But let's just get back to the just, just snoring alone. Let's just forget about all the other things that men do in their sleep that's a little crazy. This is, I looked this up, <laughs> it's secondhand snoring. Secondhand snoring, anyone who experiences secondhand snoring, could lose up to two hours of sleep per night. Because if that person constantly wakes you up while you are, before you get to that third cycle of sleep, you know, your deep sleep, then you never are fully rested. And then look at this, a study of people who have sleep apnea showed that the people experienced secondhand snoring woke up almost as much as the person with the breathing problems. And then studies have shown that people with partners who snore regularly experience anxiety, depression, and health effects. And one of the things that makes me so mad about this, I was thinking about this today, women are just supposed to be like the sacrificial lambs of men in every way, right? We sacrifice our career so that we can raise their children because we know that even women who have jobs and who work full time, their careers are negatively affected by having kids. And, and then their partners, their husbands, they actually get more bonuses and they get more like social capital. They get they just get so much benefits from being fathers, regardless of whether or not they actually parent those children. Women are supposed to give our bodies away to men. We're supposed to give our free therapy away to men. We're supposed to do all this stuff to care for them, care for them, care for them. And then on top of all of that, on top of birthing and like literally almost dying to bring the, they, these men's children into the world. And then all the other stuff that comes with caring for these kids once they're actually out of the birth canal. Women need sleep so much more than men, and yet we don't sleep as much, and a lot of times it's because of men. But even just sharing a bed with them is literally killing us because they won't treat their sleep apnea. And so I really think women need to be prioritizing their sleep more. And if that means sleeping in a separate room, do it. We are not here to just, I mean, think about it. You are taking years off of your life. If you do not get the sleep that you need, you're more depressed, you're more anxious, and, you're, and plus the actual effects of your body not resting. We already know that men benefit from marriage more than women in every possible way, right? The least you can do is make sure that you get good sleep because you are literally taking years off of your life for what? 
to like spare his ego. You know, you don't want him to feel bad about not taking actions that would actually fix a problem that's causing him a lot of pain, but you just as much pain. Yeah, we don't want them to feel bad about that. Let's just, let's just enable that. Let's just enable them and not even let them feel bad about taking years off of your life. So yeah, if they won't fix it, fork it. Do what you gotta do to take care of yourself. That's why I keep saying y'all, we can't wait for men to change. Some of them will not change. The least that we can do at this point <laughs> is just focus on yourself. Take care of yourself. Stop waiting for men to give you permission to take care of yourself and do what you need to do. Do it. I promise you, if your husband really loves you and doesn't want to like lose you and doesn't want to harm you and generally wants you to be happy, you know, he may miss sleeping next to you, but I promise you, he will understand. And if he doesn't, well, that tells you a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> Focus on yourself, decenter men, decenter their ego, decenter their feelings, because we're literally dying, y'all. We're dying because we're so concerned about them.